All right, this is a sound checkity check check. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. All right. I see some. Yes, Miss Lacarno. I see some second graders. Whoop whoop. Awesome. Yes, it's nine thirty. Welcome, Wildcats. Welcome, welcome, welcome to January Assembly and Spirit Day. This month's spirit, yes, is mismatched backwards. Yes, so we're gonna take a moment to show, oh, Miss O'Connor just put her hat on. We're gonna take a moment to show our school spirit. So can I hear from my kindergartners? Kindergartners, show off your school spirit. Give us a wave, kinders. Yeah, go kinders. All right, yes, first graders. Can you strike a pose in your mismatch outfit? Strike in your pose, first graders. Yes. All right. Second grade. Show us what you got. Second grade. Show us what you got. Second grade. I see those backwards. Yes. Awesome. Third graders, you're next. Third grade. Yes. Show off some spirit. Woo. Yes. Nice. And our amazing fourth and fifth graders. Let's see what you've got. Go for five. Our leaders. Woo! Yes! Beautiful. So, so excited. And we're going to be learning this month in January about hope, right? And being hopeful. So, a hopeful heart makes many, many things possible. And guess who's going to be featured in talking about hope and hopeful? That's our fourth and fifth graders. So you're going to see them in the video in just a minute. And then we're going to go for our live portion after that. So Ms. Lacarno, we're going to hit it and get this started. So let the video roll. Land we now call Portland were the traditional home of the Multnomah, Kathlamic, Clackamas, Cowlets, bands of the Chinook, Tualatin, Kalapuya, Malala tribes. We are here because of the things they were forced to give up and go without and are forced to continue to give up and go without. We are honored them and thank them. Yeah, yeah, I'm a wildcat, I'm at Whitman, not a kitten, and I'm on a mission, I listen, and we pay attention, when I'm in the pit, I don't quit, I'm persistent, there's no community, without unity, we're diverse and come together beautifully, we show up, turn up, yeah, you know it's lit, I take charge of my learning, that's ownership, our teachers encourage and empower us. If we have an issue, we circle up and discuss. We're safe and kind. That's our plan. Responsible and hold the future in our hands. I could read, I could write, do math, I could floss, I could dab, I can think critically like a boss. We respect and accept everybody as they are. Ask Whiskers, he'll tell you we're the best by far. Whitman Wildcats, Whitman Wildcats, Whitman Wildcats, Whitman Wildcats, roar! This is how we live. Oh my, 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 got me feeling so high. Throw your hands up, let me know that you're all right. Oh my, 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 got me feeling so high. Just like I'm never coming down. This is how we live.
If you're looking for the problems in this world, you're gonna find them. All you gotta do is look out the door. If you're looking for that good stuff, it's already up inside you. All you gotta do is just let it show. Come on, 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 come on. This is how we live in my mind. I got me feeling so high. Throw your hands up, let me know that you're all right. Oh my, 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 got me feeling so high. Feel just like we're never coming down. This is how we live in. Dive into the deep end. We don't need a reason. Jump right into the weekend. Oh my, 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 got me feeling so high. Feel just like we're never coming down. This is how we live in Check out my stilo, I'm never solo Partying is better when we got a lot of people So check your ego, we all about the rainbow Show me what's inside of your soul I, I, Come on, 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 come on. This is how we live in my mind. I got me feeling so high. Put your hands up, let me know that you're alright. Oh my, 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 got me feeling so high. Feels like I'm never coming down. This is how we live in. Dive into the deep end. We don't need a reason. Jump right into the weekend. Oh my, 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 got me feeling so high. Feels like I'm never coming. This is how we live in. This is how we live in. This is how we live in. Oh, I see your soul. Oh, oh, just let it go. Oh, oh, I see your soul. This is how we live in my mind. I got me feeling so high. Put your hands up, let me know that you're alright. Oh my, 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 got me feeling so high. Just like we're never coming down. This is how we live in. Dive into the deep end. We don't need a reason. Jump right into the weekend. Oh my, 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 got me feeling so high. Just like we're never coming down. This is how we live in. Friday, Miss Koss here, fourth and fifth grade teacher. I am so excited to bring you my three award winners for the month of January 2022. I am so happy to start with my first award winner for academic excellence, Amy Nguyen. Amy has been working so hard every day on her multiplication practice. She's doing two-digit by two-digit multiplication, making organized area models, and just working so hard. We are so proud of you, Amy. Keep up all the hard work. I am also so excited to bring you our second award winner for academic excellence, Monica Nguyen. Monica has been working so hard, making sure she has her notes ready for every math quiz every Friday. She's also doing a really amazing research report on the solar system and taking detailed and thorough notes. We are so proud of you, Monica. Keep up all your hard work. And last but not least, for the month of January, our award for being hopeful and bringing so much hope into our classroom. I am so proud to announce Corey Lalande Leva. Corey, thank you so much for always being willing to raise your hand to read every objective, to show all of your work in math, to check in every day to make sure that you are practicing the strategy as best you can and doing such amazing reading and writing every single day. You are also blooming like a flower, Corey, and we are so proud of you. Corey, keep it up. We appreciate you and we see you. Thank you so much, Corey. And thank you so much, Monica and Amy. We're so proud of you three and we're proud of all Whitman Wildcats. Go Whitman.
Hello, Whitman Wildcats. This is Miss Jennifer from kindergarten. And our first winner um, is Kaylin. Whoa! Congratulations, Kaylin. Thank you so much for always being so helpful and positive to our classmates and always reminding students that if they can't get it this time, they'll get it next time. And I appreciate your positive attitude so much and how you consistently remind us to stay hopeful. Our second winner is Jonathan. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for being so awesome. And I have noticed how much effort and improvement you are giving every day. And it's so great to see you come in every morning with a smile, trying your best and trying to be a great role model at your table. I hope you're really proud of all the learning that you've been doing. Keep up the awesome work, kindergarten friends and Whitman students. Hey Whitman Wildcats, it's Miss Joanne here in room 12 and I have three award winners. Our first award is for effort and improvement. This student has grown so much and I am so proud of him. Let's give a big round of applause for Liam Friend. Great job, Liam. Our second award is for that Whitman pride and this month that was being hopeful. And this student is so hopeful and so kind all the time. Drum roll, please, for Nikki. Great job, Nikki. And our third award winner in room 12 is for academic achievement. I am so proud of all the hard work and dedication and commitment this student has shown. Give it up for Calliope. I am so proud of all of my first graders. Thank you, have fun. Hey Whitman Wildcats, it's Miss Joanne here in room 12 and I have three award winners. Our first award is for effort and improvement. This student has grown so much and I am so proud of him. Let's give a big round of applause for Liam Friend. Great job, Liam. Our second award is for that Whitman pride and this month that was being hopeful. And this student is so hopeful and so kind all the time. Drum roll, please, for Nikki. Great job, Nikki. And our third award winner in room 12 is for academic achievement. I am so proud of all the hard work and dedication and commitment this student has shown. Give it up for Calliope. I am so proud of all of my first graders. Thank you, have fun. Hi Wildcats, it's Ms. Doe, and this month I'm recognizing Hayden Nguyen and Trenton Knatzer. For you, Hayden, you are a great example of what it means to be empowered. You take charge of your learning by staying curious, asking lots of questions, and guiding what you want to learn and what you want to study. You also care deeply about the work that you make and the projects that you create. And so that's why you're receiving this month's award for academic achievement. Woo! And for you, Trenton, you show commitment every day by trying to reach your learning goals. You take what we learn and the strategies and the skills and then you use them or apply them in your own work and you add to your group's learning, you coach and you share strategies with your partner, and you are receiving the award for effort and improvement. So give it up for Hayden and Trenton. Woo! Hey friends, Ms. Ortiz here. Uh, I want to give a shout out this month to two students. Uh, I'll start with Sophia Ferry. Sophia has been just crushing it uh, this year in math. Um, wasn't her favorite subject coming into the school year. And now she's really challenging herself and pushing herself to excel and, and uh, you know, not giving up. Uh, and starting to see that she actually, uh, you know, has math skills and is a math student, just like the rest of you. Um, also want to give a shout out to Eli. Um, Eli's not here today, but he, when he is here in our classroom, he's a student who brings, you know, hope to us all every day. He's always seeing uh, the glass half full. He's always uh, pointing out, you know, how something really isn't that bad, even though maybe we're a little frustrated with 
um, it not being perfect. Uh, so thank you, Eli. Uh, thank you, Sophia. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your day, Wildcats. Bye. Happy Friday, Whitman Wildcats. I am so excited to share two third graders with you who I think really stood out in the month of January. The first third grader is Natalie. Natalie is new to our school this year, but boy, has she settled in. She is consistently showing me that she is such a hard worker and is really excelling in academics. Uh, she consistently is turning in homework, doing her best work, and I catch her having a nose in a book all the time. She is reading, reading, reading. So I'm so proud of Natalie for such a great job she has done. The second person I want to recognize is Adeline. And Adeline is the picture of positivity. She is one of the most positive kids I have ever met. She's so encouraging and supportive to other kids. She always looks on the bright side of the situation and we can just count on her in third grade to be there for all of us. So Adeline, way to go. I'm so proud of both of you. Keep up the great work and I will see you next month. Bye-bye. Hi Whitman Wildcats, this is Mrs. Anderson, the second grade teacher. I have quite a few awards to give this month. As we might have known, the second graders went through kind of a big transition this month and they all have been doing such a great job at transitioning and becoming one big second grade classroom, which has been amazing to see. We've been working really hard on our community and we have been empowered to make great choices in our classroom and outside of our classroom. So uh, the first award I have is going to a second grader who's been showing great effort and improvement in class, and that is Azulina. Way to go, Azulina. The next person has been showing great empowerment to make wonderful choices for themselves and to empower themselves to push through big feelings, and that is Avana. Way to go, Avana. The next person I have also showed shows empowerment. This person is working through making smart choices and using tools and resources to help them throughout the day. And that is Maggie. Way to go, Maggie. And our last second grader has been showing wonderful effort and improvement in the classroom and always trying to do their best and make smart decisions. And that is Eli. Way to go, Eli. So proud of all of my second graders. Way to go, Wildcats. Hi Whitman, this is Miss MR, fourth and fifth grade teacher here to present three awards this month. Um, so the first two awards are awards for academic effort. And the first one will go to Annabeth. Congratulations, Annabeth, really nice work this month. Annabeth has been pushing herself across subject area. She just finished a chapter book in her chapter book challenge and is taking on another now. Um, and has been working through frustrations in math and seeing a lot of success and is even trying on the challenge of teaching some classmates and friends what she's learned in math, which is really great to see, just kind of pushing herself across the board. Annabeth, we are so proud of you. And then second for academic effort goes to Anna. Congratulations, Anna, we are so proud of you. Anna, you've missed a few days recently, and so it's been a real challenge to get back into the swing of things, especially in math and with your research report. And Anna has just pushed through and is really seeing that, you know, things can be really overwhelming at the start, especially coming in in the middle of things. But if you push through, you ask questions, you ask for support, you make some mistakes along the way that you'll start to get it. Um, that we don't have to be so afraid of the beginning because, hey, I'm actually starting to get this and have a lot of confidence with this material now. So Anna, I'm so glad that you're starting to see that and I'm so proud of you this month. Now our award for hopeful this month goes to Jeremy. Congratulations, Jeremy. We're really proud of you. You bring a real hopeful spirit to our classroom and to recess. You're always hopeful to, to make a new friend and be open-minded, really I think goes along with being hopeful there. Um, you're always open to new things that that we are learning, especially in this new unit, kind of hoping to think about solutions as far as climate change is concerned. Um, and really just you, you bring that that hope to everything that you do, a real positive outlook. And we really appreciate that in our class and in the whole school. So congratulations, Jeremy. Hello, Whitman Wildcats. This month's golden paintbrush 
goes to two classes who have been working so hard on earning their safe studio community stars in art class for having a great whole class time, studio time, and cleanup time in art. You've truly earned the golden paintbrush this month. These two classes are Miss MR's class and Miss Yennefer's class. Awesome jobs. Go Whitman Wildcats. Hello, Whitman Wildcats. Miss Locarno here with your Golden Counseling Award for the month of January. I'm so proud of this class. Wow, they've been working so hard on being a community, on being committed to their learning, on empowering one another during class. Give it up for Miss Joanne's class. Whoop, whoop. Good morning, Whitman Wildcats. Mrs. Butler here. My award-winning class for the month of January is a class that really embodies what community is all about. And I really appreciate how they've been coming to library ready to listen and learn. And congratulations to Ms. Koss, fourth and fifth grade. Keep up the good work. What up, Whitman Wildcats? Coach Katie here. I'm so excited to make this month's announcement for the Golden Sneaker Award. Can I get a drum roll, please? And the winner in grades K through two is Miss Joanne's first graders. Woohoo! They have been coming to PE, exercising, following directions, having fun, being hopeful, and making so many things possible in the gym. Congratulations. In grades K th three through five, we have Miss Ness's class. Woohoo! They have been rocking it in the gym, coming in, exercising, having fun, being safe, respectful, responsible, and making many things happen. Go Wildcats! All right, Wildcats, we are going to go live for the donut drawing in Mrs. Ness's class with whiskers. So if everybody could pin Miss Ness's video or pin Miss Ness's uh, camera. Got whiskers going live for the drawing, everybody. Who likes donuts? We're going to do a quick sound check. Can everybody hear Miss Ness's class? Can we, can we get
recess. And make sure you remind your teachers to come out and play with us because we're going to have some fun. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everybody. Yeah, I know.